Okay, so I'm just going to go look into Windows, which is uh, pretty annoying. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to do is how to remove the log on screen. Um, you're going to have to log in to do so. And uh, you have to bear in mind that if you've got multiple user accounts on your PC, you can only set one for automatic login. If you want to log into the others, you're going to have to click up the top here, sign out, and then sign in as a new user. Um, so what we need to do is type in a command, which is netplwiz. Um, so if you hold, go to uh, run, and type it in, so it's netplwiz, like so. You can also probably do this from the Windows screen uh, by typing it in just straight into the start menu, um, and it will bring it up, netplwiz, and hit enter. Um, it's going to bring up a similar screen to be seen in Windows 7. Um, whereby it says users must enter a user and password to use this computer. If you untick that um, and then go to the advanced toolbar, um, it's going to automatically log people on. Um, you want to also make sure that require users to press control delete is also unticked. Um, if you apply that, it's going to ask you for the credentials of the user it wants to sign in automatically with. You can, if you don't have a password, just leave it blank. In my instance, I have a password. So um, hit OK, and it's um, that's going to have done it. So if I go and give my computer a reboot now, as so. As you can see now, it's uh, automatically logging me in. I didn't have to put my password in and uh, shortly will be logged in. Um, one thing to just note is, um, is it is a bit of a security issue. Um, if people have physical access to your PC, they're going to be able to access your account without knowing your password.